Hi, this is Michael. I am uh, on a break day today, but I kind of got in the habit of making videos every day. So here's a more personal one. We're going to be speaking about the YouTube channel, uh, about Monk Mach, a little bit about Pepe, why not? And uh, personal stuff, why not? It sounds like a good thing to do today because I want to make a video and have a conversation, let you know how things are going. Yeah, let's get started. So I wrote a couple of things on my phone. I'm going to go in the order I wrote them, but they don't make any sense. Like, you know, you know how I am. Things don't have to make sense all the time. I'm going to start with LinkedIn. First off, I'd like to thank everybody who did connect with me and also left me vouchers for uh, Unity 3D skills and, and for all the other skills. I really appreciate that. I'm almost on the branch of getting 30 vouch for Unity 3D, which is going to put me in the, in the high skill section, which amazing. I'd love that. It's going to be, it will be something that me meaning quite a lot to me. There's also two of you guys who left me written vouchers, which is even better because it's, it's a written proof that, Hey, you know, there, there's like a message. It's a recommendation. So, and I just want to thank you so much for that because you had to connect with me on LinkedIn. Then I had to accept it. And then you had to vouch or write a recommendation. And then I had to accept that recommendation if it was a written one. So the fact that you went through all this friction process back in the fall and you gave me the, the things I asked for, the recommendation I asked for in the end is, uh, is great. It's actually great. I didn't think, uh, I didn't think people were so supportive. So really appreciate that. Um, so, you know, I'm drinking coffee today. I'm not drinking coffee. I'm drinking cereal coffee, which has no caffeine in it. That's going to be an important fact for Monk March. Also drinking water because I like to have both at the same time. Um, next up, we have the website. So I've worked a little bit on the website. I've got the comments to work. So now if you leave a comment, um, you're going to get two points, two experience. And if somebody upvote that comment, you get one more on top of that. So what you're going to end up with is if you leave a comment that gets 10 likes, you're going to have a total of 12 XP um, related to your YouTube account on the website. Yeah. I fixed that. It took a while to fix that. I don't know why it took such a while. I didn't do any TypeScript in a while. And uh, I have to do TypeScript for the client side and I have to do JavaScript for the back end. So the back end is in Node.js and the website itself, like the interface, the, the way you interact with, is in Unity Tiny on the preview package that only use TypeScript. So quite happy about that. Um, it did turn out very cool. Soon I will have the subscribe. So when you subscribe to the YouTube channel, this YouTube channel, you're going to get a hundred XP right away. Um, I have not fixed that yet. I want to, I want to make sure that this one is out yet before I put XP requirement on the packages right now, everything is free and it's going to remain free for the whole March. So if you want to download stuff, make sure you download them on say the 30th of March or 31st of March. Um, because after that, I'm going to bump up the XP required for every single little package. Some of them are going to remain free. Some of them are going to be um, 100 XP. So a lot of them are going to be required to have 100 XP, which is just going to be, hey, if you want to have this asset, you need to subscribe to my channel. Or hey, if you want to have this asset, you need to subscribe to my channel and then maybe like leave three comments on three of my videos, any of them, it will work. Um, I want to do that. So it's fair, right? So I'm spending a lot of time making these. I'm spending a lot of time making those video and the payoff in the end is nothing because we don't have ads. Um, the only payoff is Patreon and that's don't, I'm not going to get into that just yet, but I really appreciate it. Um, where was I? Yeah. So I'm going to be bumping up, um, the assets on the website. So uh, I, starting in April, there's going to be a requirement on them. So you're going to have to either subscribe to the channel, um, pledge on Patreon or leave a ton of comment to download these assets. In which case I think it's fair because what I used to do with N3K Yen is just not give out the assets and have people give me watch time instead. And that watch time would basically be them trying to type everything word by word. And I guess that, that, that is quite annoying. So I'm happy about the new model. I think it's going to work out fine, but to make it profitable, I'm just going to need and, and find a lot of more people to watch the video. I'm going to need to bump up the YouTube game quite a lot. Um, and that usually was done by letting them give me watch time. Watch time is the most important stat on YouTube. So I'm kind of trading off here a little bit, but it's, uh, it comes at the ease of the people who watch and the ease of people who just, you know, you subscribe, grab the package and then, then you're good. Now, hopefully for me, you come back for another video after that, and we can make you somebody that's part of the community or somebody that just likes what we do. Um, dual wielding water and also coffee. That's how I do it. So next up is Patreon and Monk March together. So is Monk March worth it? Is spending 30 day making a video every day on different little technology worth it? 
The answer is in the short term, no, no, it's kind of stupid because by the end of the month, I will have gained a total of um, zero dollar with YouTube and eighty dollar with Patreon this month. So first, thank you so much for pledging on Patreon. Um, hopefully, we can have more pledge by the end of the month. Let's think. So yeah, no, no, it's not going to be worth in the short term because of course somebody doesn't live off eighty dollar. But think about that. The most viewed video on N3KEN are all videos where I take a game from zero to 100% in, cer in a certain amount of time. So maybe like one hour to six hour, which gave me a lot of watch time, gave me a lot of um, ad break, it gave me a lot of ways to monetize that and make it worth it for me. But we don't have any of these on the new channel. So here's the plan. I want to go back and making these videos, but for that, I'll need some code to start me up because if every time we do the same thing, it's gonna get boring. So instead of doing the same thing all the time on every single one of these videos, I'll simply go to my website, I'll grab the packages I need, integrate them, and that'll be it. So that part will be done already. We won't have to spend one hour making, say, um, character selection with audio manager, with, with uh, all these things together. Like we won't have to spend time doing that so we can all focus on just the gameplay and publishing our game which I think is gonna be uh, quite attractive to people who just wanna go in there and make a similar game to what I've made. That's the plan. So that's why Monk Much is worth it in the long run and is not worth it right now. Um, but that, that would also be a lie because I do plan on buying some ads targeting people from N3KEN and um, have those people, like my ads target these people and say, hey, we moved over because I don't have the luxury of doing that for free. I don't have access to my own YouTube channel anymore, so yeah, I'm gonna pay for ads, have these people know that we transferred over, um, else there's really no way to reach them. Speaking about that case, um, I have built my old legal case quite nicely. I'm gonna go to the lawyer really soon to structure everything, see if I'm lacking something, uh, and that's an expensive lawyer, so after that, I'll have to drop in. Unfortunately, I don't, well, first, I don't have money anymore, so. <laughs> Um, I'll have to drop him completely and then look for somebody who's willing to do this pro bono or wait at the end of the year when I have money, when the job on the side that I'll get into in a moment, um, when that job gives me enough money to go and, and take the legal action required. Uh, but of course, if I, if I find a, a pro bono person before that, that would be so great because things would move much faster. Um, but I do plan on getting in 3K yen at one point back in my life and it just suck how it ended. It feels like a divorce to some extent. It feels like, well, first I didn't get paid for the work I've done. So that's that's something I wanna get back, of course. And then um, if I have the opportunity to get N3K back at the same time, if it, we can reach a settlement where there is that in it, um, that would be so cool. Because one of my life goal is to get a silver play button. And I was about to get it with N3K and it's just a matter of like two years, so. Yeah, that kind of sucks. That makes me sad. It actually makes me sad for real. Um, going back to something more positive. So what do we have positive in here? Oh yeah, the jobs. Speaking of which, I do not have a job right now. I'm looking for jobs. So if you're looking for services to be done with you and you have like very short-term mission, short-term goals or uh, optimization in your game or like you want to publish a certain thing, um, I'm available for that. Um, of course, I want this to be short because I'm looking for a longer term job at the same time, which I'm in talk for and it's a really interesting one and it might be relocating me to somewhere in Southeast Asia or somewhere in Asia. Uh, it's just a place I just love. I love these places so much. Um, the sun is great here. We get a lot of snow and I just, I don't know, it's much different. So yeah, I'm in talk for something quite cool. I'm really hoping I can I can actually land the job with the people I'm speaking with right now. I can't divulge who is just yet. Uh, if I do get it, I'll be able to say, but until then, we'll have to wait. I was speaking of Monk March, I forgot to mention. Monk March has the primary goal of having me release a video every day on the new channel, but it also has side goals, such as initially, I had to post three pictures of Pepe on his Instagram uh, so I could try and like build a small Instagram influencer profile with the dog, not with me. I don't have anything to do with that. Um, that that stopped after like five or seven days in because I just didn't have enough pictures and I just feel so bad posting three times a day on Instagram with like, okay, so that's him sleeping this way. Okay, that's him sleeping that way. Oh, that's him jumping. That's him eating a treat. I just don't know how those people do it, man. It's just like, it gets so redundant all the time. So I've killed that goal. 
completely well not completely i'm still releasing a couple of pictures of pepe like on instagram but those are, i'm gonna try and make these a little bit more interesting than hey like that's him sleeping this way that's him sleeping that way and so on um the second goal the second main goal was to work out every day which i have been doing i've skipped two days the last two days i've skipped them because i had really bad really bad leg pain from a workout that was way too intense um but overall I, I feel good and i'm gonna skip a couple of days i guess i'm going to lose out on that but that's also an optional goal so i don't feel so bad about it yeah yeah i guess that's it um i'm actually quite happy i feel sore because i starting in my 20s i think i got like some kind of nervous system disorder in which i don't feel pain so much with people people are like they go up to me and say that's awesome you don't feel pain so much um i feel a bit numb though it, because of that like i can go outside minus 10 without a shirt and i can be staying there for the whole day without without freezing without feeling so much um same thing if i walk on something very spiky like i don't feel everything but i feel i still feel pain i just don't i don't react to it so much and um, having that feeling of soreness having that feeling of weight on top of you is great it actually makes me feel like I'm recovering from whatever the, the, the crap it is, even though some people consider it to be good. Uh, yeah, I can also jog forever. I don't know why. I don't work out that much before, but if you go, like, if, I, if we go on the jogging spree uh, and we keep the same speed, I'll be able to jog pretty much forever. Again, very positive. The only weird thing right now with my body is just to sleep. I lack sleep. You can always tell with my face, but... Um, if I break my sleep schedule only one night, it's gonna be broken for like two weeks and it's just like a long time. Um, I had it great when I started March. When I started Monk March, I had it super great, but recently there was a water damage with my ceiling. My ceiling, um, snow is starting to melt here and the snow on the ceiling melt and it went through it. It actually started leaking from uh, the lamp at the top of my, my room. So I woke up like at two in the morning because there was water coming down the the lamps was, you know, when that happens, you usually turn off the electricity and be like, okay, I'm glad things didn't catch on fire. Um, but we stood the whole night. So that whole night was about me getting on the, on the rooftop and breaking ice with a hatchet until there was no more snow on the, on the ceiling. Oh, I say ceilings, the rooftop, right? So that's what I did during that, that day. And ever since, um, ever since, I haven't been able to sleep well, I guess, but we're I'm, I'm recovering like a small over time. I know I know how it works now. It happened more than once in my life. So, okay, that was a little bit of personal stuff. Let's move on to something else. Southeast Asia. I want to go back to Southeast Asia. That's all. I'm trying to find ways to do that. If the first job, if the job that I'm speaking with right now, the one that's really interesting, uh, works, I'm going to be relocated in India, which is also a great place. And if it doesn't work, eventually I'll try to export myself to Southeast Asia just to save on the price a little bit. Um, rent is not expensive, food is not expensive. Um, there's a gym right exactly where I want to go. Yeah, I think it would be something quite great, great to do. I'd probably go to the Philippines again. Uh, and if not the Philippines, actually only the Philippines. I like the Philippines, it's a nice place. But yeah, before that, I have to figure out the lawyer stuff. And then I think I can do it remotely because we are going by the rule of international commerce, which means we're going to be put in one of the 150 countries. We still don't know which. It can't be Canada and it can't be Hong Kong. And I don't think it can be wherever the person is right now. So uh, either way, we're going to have to fly somewhere to, to debate that case. So yeah. That's it. That's actually it. I think, I think I'm actually done ranting or just having a conversation, you could say. Monk March is doing well. Um, starting tomorrow, we're going to go inside of UI stuff, then move on to Android related only. I don't do iOS because I don't have an iOS device. It's as simple as that. So please don't ask me anymore for iOS stuff because I simply don't have a device and we don't have the funds right now to unlock it. So um, yeah. Plus, I don't think it's a good market going into future iOS and Android. I'm starting to feel like, hey, you know, the app development rush is kind of over. Maybe we should move on to something else, just like Unity Tiny and Facebook Messenger, um, HTML5 games, maybe Switch. All these things is something I'm, I'm really hopeful for in the future. Not so much Android and iOS development, but that, that might be just me. Um, either way, I'm still going to be making videos for them and helping you out. 
make your apps and make your games. So, so yeah, that's where I'll be ending today. Yo, Pepe, you wanna say goodbye? So thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been our little conversation on um, the 16th or 17th of March today. I just don't know, actually, but during our break day in March. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you're doing well. And um, let's catch up again. I like these. They're quite easy to make. And it let me get a couple of things off my art. So see you then. What you doing, boy? Are you still there? Hey, get off. Don't put your paw on the table, boy. Alright, never mind.